Arsenal technical director Redu has received plenty of criticism during his two years in the job to date. There have been questionable signings, with the three-year contract for Willian proving to be the worst of the lot. Arsenal's hierarchy have also been under fire from supporters for letting players leave too cheaply. Aston Villa's purchase of Emiliano Martinez last summer for £20 million looks to be an absolute steal. There have been other departures where Arsenal have seemed to be more happy to get the player off their books rather than get as much in terms of transfer fee. David Ospina, £3.15 million, Nacho Monreal, £225,000, and Lucas Perez, £5 million, are three examples of extremely cheap exits. Going back even further, £12.6 million for the now Juventus number one Wojciech Szczesny doesn't seem a good deal and the less said about Serge Nabry the better. There have been a host of players recently who have seen their contracts torn up in order to facilitate an exit from the Emirates. Henrik Mahitayan received that honor last summer, with Socrates Papas Tathapoulos, Chokran Mustafi and Mesut Ozil all leaving in January without Arsenal recouping any money for them. But the club, led by Edu, may have now realized their best way of raising transfer funds is by getting what they can for the players they no longer want. The Granite Jacka saga is hopefully the sign of things to come. Arsenal are clearly happy to let Jacka leave the club after five seasons of being a regular in the midfield. Jacka has been much maligned with Arsenal's support and many will be happy to see him leave. But Roma are not matching the Gunners asking price and Edu is putting his foot down. The latest from Italian outlet Il Tempo is everything has stopped with regards to Kaka's move to Roma. Arsenal won £17 million for Jacko and are not prepared to accept anything less. Jacko is arguably in his prime at the age of 28 and still has two years remaining on his Arsenal deal. He is a star for the Swiss national team, who reached the quarter-final at Euro 2020. Arsenal are right to demand their asking prices matched, because too many times before they have allowed a player to leave on the cheap. Kaka's time has come to leave Arsenal, a new dynamic is needed in midfield. But the Gunners don't want to be taken for a ride and Edu is doing his best to stop that from happening.